Today we've got Ollie doing his driving lesson. It's Ollie, Ollie or Oliver, isn't it? Yeah, Ollie. Ollie, Ollie, Ollie. Um, Ollie, tell him how many hours you've had with me. Oh, it's six lessons. So that's so a total of? Nine hours. Nine hours. Have you had any practice with the rents? No. Nothing at all? No. Right. So, tell us what we've done last lesson. We started roundabouts. And we were doing left and straight ahead, weren't we? Yep. Now, Tell me why you use your middle mirror on approach for when you go approaching a roundabout, when you're going straight ahead. Uh, see so traffic behind you. Just to see how close you are, because if yeah. they're really close, we're going to start breaking earlier. Yeah. If there's no road markings and you're going straight ahead, which lane are you going to pick? Left. Left. When would you go to the right lane to uh, go straight ahead? If the road markings here. Good. Can you tell me what is meant by a blocker? Um, so it'll be a vehicle in either the left or uh, straight ahead lane that's blocking the car in the right from turning nice, up. Nice, good. Now, if you can't go, or you can't see, or you don't know whether to go, what do I tell you to do? So, and do the uh, rolling. And the rise and break and the gas clutch. That's the yeah. skill we wanted here. Yeah. Um, we agreed we were going to do the right city, didn't we? <clears throat> so, yeah. Right. Um, did you watch the videos? Uh, yeah, sure. Good. Okay, then. So, if you're turning right at the roundabout, there's no road markings. We're saying you're going to keep them on approach. Right. Sorry, where you're going to position the car on approach? In the right lane. To the to the centre. Yeah. Then you'll find yourself in the right lane. Yeah. So if you watch that red car, count just do what you normally do. Count the X as you go around, and oh shoot, that's going straight ahead, isn't it? So count the X's when you need scene number two. I need you to look in the left door mirror. Why do you think you look in the left door mirror for? Um, check overtaking the left. See the purple car. Yeah. Now what could that car do? Shoot. So if you use your left door mirror and you see somebody cutting you up like that, what could you do? Uh, get in their way. Yeah, get in the way if you try and leave the roundabout. So what options have you got? <coughs> If you stick to the right, keep going around. You could go, keep going around, good. What's the other one? Uh, another, another two. Believe me. If you've got two lanes, which lane could you leave in? The right one. The right one. But when you leave a roundabout and you've got two lanes clear, which lane do you leave in? Oh, uh, on the left. The left one, good. What's your other option? Uh, just go around again. And... If you just go around again. Um, leaving the right lane, or he could come off the gas and let them get past and then move on. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, what happens if we have to change lanes? How are you going to tell if it's safe to move in the right lane? What does it say on video? Because uh, we'll be doing some lane changing today. Okay. So, which is the most important mirror when you're changing the right lane? The right lane. The right door mirror. How are you going to tell if it's safe to move over? Uh, well, if there's nothing right. trying if to you, overtake you. Yeah, if you look in your dormer and you see a car indicating, should you put your indicator on? Sorry, if you look in your dormer and you see a car overtaking you, yeah. should you indicate or not? No. Good, because people react to that and they might think you're moving out. Yeah. So what you do is you let the car get past, then you put the indicator on. Yeah, okay. What happens if there's lots of cars there, quite a few? Now you're going to have to put the indicator on, aren't you? So how are you going to tell if they're going to let you out? They'll drop back. How are you tell them they're dropping back? How do you know they're dropping back? Uh, just look in the mirror and think smaller. That's it. So if you look in the door mirror and the red car's getting bigger, bigger and bigger, what does that mean? It's getting closer to you. So you can't move out. You no. look in the door mirror, the yellow car's not getting any bigger. It's big, but it's not getting any bigger. What's yeah. that mean? You can move out. It's going to move out. If you look in the door mirror and it's really small, the car behind really yeah. small in the dormer, what does that mean? It's far behind, so you can move out. Good. Right. Now, when you change lanes, don't stare in the dormers. That's what learners do. Just look once, look back away, your car's going, then take another, take a second glance just to build a picture up. Okay? Yeah. Any questions? No. Nope. What did you find the hardest last week? What was the most difficult part for you? Uh, I think just judging when to go and who to wait on the roundabout. Well, I think that'll just come with experience, won't it, yeah. the more we do them, because you know when to go, it's just, yeah. I think, being a bit cautious at times. Right, yeah. um, what help will you want from me to do on these turn rights? Um, 
probably just uh, like when to leave and we all go around. Or... I'll help you with that then. Come right when you're ready. Then. So it's going to mainly focus on the right, okay? Make sure these dormers are perfect because we need them the deer. We need them all the time, but more important the deer. Any meeting situations on your driving lessons? No, not as many as me. Not no. as many today. So if we get some today, you know what to do, don't you? Yeah. Now, I wouldn't go any faster than this. This is a good speed for down here. So roads are quite narrow with lots of parked cars. Yeah. We just send him in Spencer. Spencer. Stuart. Stuart Munch. Yeah. Where am I getting all with Spencer from? <laughs> I got a message from the. Uh... Well, it wasn't the actual insurance company, it was Proximo or something. Oh yeah, they rang me and all. No, yeah, I just ignored it. Yeah, I didn't bother with them. Um, I haven't had time to get me car. Not bad. It was a fairly oh, crack, yeah. wasn't it? I know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was really wasn't too much damage though. No, I don't, I don't. Well, apparently they see it's got to be in the check because they're oh, okay. apparently underneath they can damage it or yeah. something. It's not at the time. So at the end of the road, turn left. signal comes back, I'll stick it back on That's excellent footwork there, man. Excellent. So you pull it off nice and smooth? Yeah. That's really good. I don't want to jinx you, but um, that's yeah. what we want at the roundabout. That's really good technique. Really skillful. Clutch control, that lovely. Now, looking well ahead, what do you see? Green lights. 
So that will only change if somebody presses the button. We haven't done crossings yet, but um, still got to keep a look. You know your, your window screen. Yeah. You know the stalk on the right hand side. Yeah, the ind indicators call the stalk on the left hand side. Oh, okay. So the stalk on the right hand side. Can you pull it towards you for two seconds? That's. These lights could change, these are traffic lights, okay. could change at any time. Just be ready. Check behind to see how close that car is. Don't be ready, these could change. It's got a cycle something this morning, isn't it? Check first, see if anybody's overtaken. And he should be looking at about 35 on this type of road, wouldn't go any faster. Could you overtake a cyclist on the solid white line? Uh, no. Yes, you I could, if, if it was safe to do so. You wouldn't overtake it on the brow of the hill. No. Good. Let's take your foot off the gas. We'll come to the roundabout where you give way to the right, okay. then you drive onto the roundabout and give way to the left. Does that make sense? Yeah. John, I don't know if you know this, the cock of the north roundabout, do you know it? No, I don't know. Right, so we go under the roundabout and then we have to look left to give way to the left. So you've got a give way line, a give way triangle. Okay. So you give way, give way to the left now. Good. Okay. Can tell people we're leaving. Keep your gas on. Set straight again. We'll build your speed up because we're on a 70 road. Choice lanes, which one's the best one to pick? Go on left. No, we're going straight ahead. Go straight, um, left. The left one, good. Now, we don't need any gear changes, just give me a lovely smooth stop. And just as you stop, do the rolling first. Well, I'm not stopping. That's it. That's good, you match the gear to the speed of the car, that's really good. Take your foot off the gas. We'll, 
with it raining, we've got to keep a bigger oh, gap yeah. between us and the car in front. I wouldn't get any closer than this. Just going straight ahead again. Change to red, apply the parking brake, neutral, then rest your feet. See how it's cut out? Yeah. So, how will it start again? Uh, it will. Now, we, we don't want to sit here in neutral when our lights on green, so we're going to try and preempt when the lights change. So, they're not going to change yet. So, I think it's going to be us after them, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. While we're waiting, have a look in the dormer, it's just watch for any cyclists because there seems to be a lot about. Okay, get yourself ready to go. And there's your backup light, your secondary light. What gauge do you need? <coughs> so, that right. That's it. That's excellent. It's really good. Pupils normally stall the traffic lights. I don't think I've stalled. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've stalled. You're my star pupil and <laughs> they haven't stalled. It's a nice score, just a bit. Oh yeah, right. I've scanned that cross for us, make sure there's nobody pressing buttons. set of lights could change so you've got to be ready and if you look in the mirror this van's close behind isn't it yeah so we're going to when we get close we're going to take the foot off the gas not yet just keep the gas on right now just come off the gas and just be ready right now just go on the gas because if they change now we wouldn't stop but normally when you come up to fast guess what happens to them uh, just stop change it on here See the cyclist up ahead? Yep. We'll have to overtake him. You can go on the hatch markings to overtake if it's safe to do so. Make sure nobody's overtaking you. About a metre and a half, two metres. That's it. Lovely.
Right, any questions? No. You know when you come to that roundabout? Yeah. You were in the second gear, weren't you? Yeah. Don't put the clutch down if you're not going to if you're not going to um, stop. So you put the oh, clutch yeah, yeah. back down, then you yeah, bring the back up. I just want to show you the cock of the north round, but I should have explained this first. So we were turning right, oh, yeah. and we've come in the right lane. Yeah. Um, now, if you notice, when you drive on the road, see the give way lines. Yeah. Give way trying so you drive on the road and then give way to the left. It's just to keep the traffic moving. Okay. That's all That's it fine. is. Um, now, this one here, we're going to do this big circuit and it's pretty difficult sometimes. So we're going okay. to turn right and come all the way around the fourth exit. Right. We're going to do a few sec uh, loops of this. Now, if you look to the right there and you see cars coming from here, can you pull out? No. Only if they're indicating, do you agree? Yeah. Okay. Now, where's the blocker going to come from there then? Okay. Good. If you see them over here in the left lane, guess what I want you to do? Yeah. If you see them over here in the right lane, guess what I want you to do? Yeah. What happens if it's there in the right lane? Right. Sounds good to me, go on off you want to read. Yeah. And we're going to do the lane changing now also. Oh, yeah. So we'll help with that a bit. Don't put that on when you know you can't go, but do if you want to put it on when you're ready to move off. In your blind spot. So we'll go on right. Signal a little bit earlier, else so I think you're going back around. Keep in the left lane, so and then cancel it. Good. Now have a look in your right door mirror. Keep left. Come off your gas. Can you see getting bigger and bigger? Yeah. That means we can't move over. Can we move over now? Yeah. So we're going right number four. Now count them as you go around. So take foot off the gas. Put your signal back on. And have a look to see if you can go. That's the block of that one. See, it was coming from over there in the left lane. Yeah. So when it's coming from there in the left lane, that means you can go number four, that's number one. Yeah. Three, when you left over and then drift it over. Signal, put a drift it over. Thanks for the park and ride. Good. It's excellent speed on approach. Now don't put the clutch down unless you're going to stop. Don't put it down. That's it. Gas as you go around, signal two, that's it. Use the maze, that's it. Pull up again, just past the side road. There's a car behind. Right, just one thing, um, the timing of your signal is a little bit dodged, so we'll have to fix that look. Okay. So, that roundabout, did you see the cars over there, in the, yeah. in the left lane over there, yeah? Now we come round here, there's number three, you want your left door mirror right here, yep. you want your signal when you're level. Okay. You, you're right. going round the roundabout yeah, yeah, yeah. with the indicator on for right, where does everybody think you're going to go? Wrong. So what will happen then is you get people come round and think you on that way and they'll end up cutting you up yeah. before you want to leave. So the timing of the signal is very important. As okay. soon as you level, just put it on now, drift it over to the left lane. Yeah. You got that? Yep. When you're ready. Thank you. 
So we're doing the same circuit again. Tell the vehicles where you're going. Keep your gas on, a bit more gas, or a bit more gas. Um, the Dormera signal there. It just took you too long to get going there. That straight gear is really, keep left, you've got to leave to the left. We should have been putting the palm ring on, and the car cancel signal. Is it safe to move over? Yeah. over to the right in the left lane I just want you to drive on the ramp up. Can't go there. Roll in first and that's it. Put off your brake light roll, just keep letting it roll, stop putting your gas on. And that's it. Keep your gas on. Signal for right. Quick glance in the door mirror. Signal. It drifted over. Now start drifting to the left, to my side. That's better. Now everybody knows where we're going. See how the blue car's getting up. Yeah. Because you've got the correct signal up. Cancel it. Now follow the signs for the park and ride again. Cancel ticket noise. Um, right, just go back this roundabout here. Um, you know when you pulled out. Yeah. We did take a while to pull out. Yeah. We slowed the car down a little bit on the right hand side. Now what we should have done there, the same as you stopped, you couldn't go apply the parking brake. Mm -hmm. yeah. and then when you see the gap happening, what should you do with your feet? Just how it's set already. So. Good. Set the gas and find the bike. I just want to go to this roundabout, that one back there. Now it, you don't know where they're going in that lane, do you? No. Um, so what you've got to look for here, there's the roundabout. Now there's no right turn, is there? No. So there's only two exits straight ahead and right. Okay. Now for the cars coming from 12 o'clock to go straight ahead, they need the right lane. So there's no way on earth I can, I mean, I can tell you to go there. Why is that? Around. It could come round, but if you notice there's no right turn, so most traffic is going to go that way, isn't yeah. it? So when you see the car like that, guess what I want you to do? Just go. That's when I want you to go. So I can see it's a bit hard decision to make. Mm -hmm. So I can see there why you don't want to go. I wouldn't go either, but don't put the crutch down. Just let it crawl up, and then when you see it doing that look, then you go on the gas. Do you agree? Yeah. Right, let's do the same circuit again. Right. Turn the car when you see it gap. A bit too high with your clutch. See? Put more gas on. 
Okay, don't bring it up too high, you don't want it fighting okay. against the power brake. Put your left arm ring out. That's it, and then lift, drift it over to the left lane. Cancel it, keep left. Then we need to move in the right lane again. Tell the bus what you're doing. When you need to change lanes, get it done as early as you can. See the cab stop preparing the car. Oh, the wagon's going to, where's this wagon going? See the same bit? Oh. That would have been a lovely block of wood <laughs> if there'd been nothing in the right lane. See them going that way? See it? Yeah, see it. See they're coming from 12 o'clock in the left lane? Yeah. Questions? Uh, no. Sure. Not. Right. Yeah. Just I can see why you're a bit hesitant with this roundabout. But yeah. Oh, Most learners are actually. Um, but if you see a, a car there, look. There. And we here. What should we be doing? It's in the left lane. We're over here. Time to go. Yeah, we have time to go. There's a couple of cars come around there and you waited a bit. Okay. If you look at it, they're coming from 12 o'clock in the left lane. So they're yeah. coming from 12 o'clock in the left lane. What should he be doing? Yeah, just going. Just going. So there was a couple of cars there. There was a great big wagon there before, wasn't there? Mm -hmm. Now, if there'd been nothing in the right lane there, guess what I would expect you to do there? Nothing in the right lane. If there was nothing in the right lane but that big wagon was over there, guess what I would expect you to do? Yeah. Go, cool, yeah, it's coming from, it's coming from 12 o'clock in the left lane, yeah. okay? okay? It's yeah. when it's in the right lane, and it's when they're coming from there that you kind of go. Yeah. Okay. Go on, then off you go when you're ready, another circuit. <clears throat> Put your clutch down a pound, down, left foot down a pound. That's it, you don't want it that high. That's more chance of stalling the car. Then more gas, so we more gas, that's it. And left arm rip. Number four, that's number one. 
timing, that's really good now. Cancel the ticket, uh, sorry. Press the button on the wipers for us. Try, press it again. Zip. And give us one more second, okay, and then we'll try a different one. Okay. <coughs> See that red car indicator? Yeah. Yeah, that was pretty neat work. Well done. That's it. That's good. Well done. Well done. That's good. No, I never cancel when you leave a round. signal before you go off the gate. Uh, Normally do that. That was better. Are you happy with that roundabout? Yeah. Yeah, that was good. The timing, mirror signals, all good stuff. We're going to do this roundabout now. Um, this is a trick. This is the one where we got uh, re-rendered. Oh yeah. It's a pity we didn't have that on video. Oh, no. yeah. But yeah, that's all good technique. What you're doing. Um, okay. Right, this one's difficult. So we're going to turn right fourth exit, okay. which we're going to be in the obviously in the right lane. Yeah. Now it's there. Yeah. Now, if you see cars come round here in the right lane, do we go? No. Why don't we see the car in the right lane and start to the point that way? Oh, then you can go. Good. What happens if you see a car over there in the left lane? You'll have time to go. Yeah, you've got plenty of time because it's a big car, isn't it? Now, yeah. have we been in fifth gear? No. Yeah. Well, actually, we got last week. Didn't we? Did we? Yeah. Can you remember how you get it? You got it across the right. Now, we're going to do this technique of going to the round bulb. We're going to do fifth to third. Okay. Third to second. So I want this look. Well, you're doing it all right, but just be on the safe side. Fifth to third, hold the brake, clutch down into third, bring yeah. the clutch back up, yeah. and then keep the brakes still going to second gear. Okay? okay? One other thing with the lane changing, which I forgot to mention, I know you can clearly see there, we were coming down, we were checking the mirrors regularly, which is good, but if you're not 100% sure, consider it the sideways going to take this look. Okay. Not this. Yeah. Just to, if you know, never 100 percent you just consider just a sideways glance, okay? Right. right, when you're ready then. Okay. And we done a couple of mini roundabouts last week, didn't we? Uh, yeah, we did. <clears throat> just a bit too high again with that clutch. Go on, keep your gas on as you're pulling off. Now, at the roundabout, turn left. Tell other vehicles where you're going.
Would you read the sign, use your mirrors and tell people where you're going and do that fifth to third and third to second, keeping the brakes down.
allowed? Have to do it all on your own? Yeah. Good. But just go and do um, second gear a couple of bus lengths back, oh, yeah. third gear about six bus lengths back.
semis of yours again. Lane, left lane. Oh, Sid. That's good. Well, that car came around a bit quick, didn't it? Yeah. Now, I actually thought you were going to go there. Guess what most learners would have done there? Gone. Gone. So, well done. I was ready to whack the jewels on there. <laughs> so, that was good. Well done. Now, watch your people overtake at the last second because they do cut across. See your secondary light to the right? Yep. Your backup light. But if you put your clutch down too early, it increases the stopping distance, it takes you longer to stop. Okay. So just brake a bit first, feel it slowing down, and then put the clutch down. That's the correct time to put the clutch down, that's good. Wow, Wally, how do you think you've done the deer? Pretty well overall. It's pretty good, actually. You've managed the impossible. You've made me look good, the deer. <laughs> dear you, me. Normally pupils would try and um, at least pull out in front of cars at least two or three times. So, you'll be able to watch this video with a smile on your face, yeah. you? you know. Again, just watching people overtake.
speed you go. too high so, so you just bring it right up past the yeah. driving point there's just more chance of stalling remember on the levels it's biting point he'll yeah. start driving point but if you're going to take your foot off the clutch wise where's the gear lever going to be yeah. you're more good put that down this having a moment This roundabout we don't signal to leave it, do we? No. There's a left turn. That's it. Turn it right. <coughs> yeah, we've got also. Still want your left arm right though.
Let me check the dumber as somebody might be overtaking yeah. you and it could have been flashing them. Yeah. Now you don't flash anybody on the driving test. No. Do you? Put a signal on tellies what you do. Sneaky punch down. That'll do. Mm. Right. How do you think you've done? Yeah, pretty good. Just... Yeah, it was good yeah. stuff. Um, it was all good now. Well done. Um, right, things, to, what could you improve on? Easy stuff to improve on. Um, moving off probably. Just, just yeah. You, well, you you bring the you bring the clutch up yeah. to the driving point. Yeah. You need to find the biting point. Anything else? Um. Well, I think it was. Well, cancelling the signal. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you, we're leaving the signal on, love. Yeah. That's easy to put yeah, right, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Anything else? Um. It's so exactly what I've wrote down. Yeah. There, actually, anything else? I think it was just mirrors and signal when leaving, but I was fine anyway. Exactly. I tell you what is, even the coaching experts could teach you to drive. You've got, you've, everything you've said I've wrote down on my hand. Um, the timing was out, but you put that right, which was great. And your reaction time is a couple of times it took you too long to get moving. Oh, yeah. But but that'll come with practice. I'm not worried about that. But. Okay. For a first drive lesson, that, that was really good. Well done. Thank you. Was, uh, not first drive lesson, on the round bus <laughs> turn right. Yeah. Is there anything you don't understand? Uh, I don't think so. Well, but yeah, that was pretty good. Right, um, should we do more roundabouts next time, or do you want to move on to traffic lights? Do you want a few more rights and then move on and see how it goes? Yeah. Because it could be a bit busier, I suppose. Yeah. But, um, what do you think? Um, Should we go straight on the travel lights or do you want to do a few more rights and then maybe just move on them? What's your plan? Yeah, I felt alright today. But... So do you want to move on the lights? Yeah. Or, or do you want to do a couple of roundabouts to start with and then move on them? Yeah, right? yeah. A few seconds of rights and then do the yeah. roundabouts. Right. Okay. We'll do some more rights because them's the hardest one then, yeah. we'll, then we'll move on to the travel lights. Can you watch the videos on the traffic lights? Yeah. Mainly turn and right because that's... That's where everybody feels, okay? Yep. Right, I'll see okay. you next week. Yeah. I'll text you when this is up, okay? Oh, yeah. I'll send good. you the link. Right, thank right. you for that. Thanks, Ken. I feel like I should pay you for that. <laughs> one. Really good. Well done. Thank you. See you next see week. Yeah.